Hey there, Pete Moriarty here, IT Genius. We help organizations systemize, organize, and scale using Google Workspace. Today, I'm hitting record because I'm getting this security prompt in my Google account when I try and change settings inside of YouTube, and it's driving me crazy. Um, I've clicked the More Ways to Verify button, and it's only giving me this one option, which is the security code, and it seems to be in a loop, and I, I literally can't find it on my iPad, which is pretty wild. So. I'm trying to follow the instructions here. And when I attempt to follow the instructions, yeah, we we kind of don't get anywhere. So it's asking me to first open the settings app, which appears to be the Google settings app. So I open the settings app and it says to go to Google and I go to Google and then it says tap manage your Google account, which doesn't exist here. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, well, Maybe I can go to my Google search app here, which tends to have Google settings. And I go here into the settings and all right, let's 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 open the settings wheel inside the Google app. And huh, nothing here says manage your Google account, which is a little bit kind of odd. Okay, so it doesn't exist there. And so, all right, let's 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 maybe try Google Chrome. So I've actually gone to my Google Chrome and I know there's a button here called manage my Google account. So I'm gonna go to my Google account inside Chrome. And all right, now let's see if we can follow this, the settings, the options, it says go to security. Here we go, we have this open and it's saying under signing into Google, tap security code. So under signing into Google, there, there is no option for security code. So I'm kind of stuck here. And if I can't work this out, how are, how are everyday users supposed to work this out? So let's try and work it out, maybe do a bit of a Google. So how this whole kerfuffle started was I was trying to remove some old stuff from our YouTube channel and it just continues to do this silly prompt. Asking me to enter a security code that I do not seem to have access to, which is pretty bizarre. So I'm watching a help video here in another language and it's it's literally telling me to do this in what appears to be um, an Android device, which I do not actually have currently. <laughs> which, yeah, nice one, nice one, Google. Okay, not very helpful. Okay, well, I guess I could try my iPhone. Okay, so here we go, I have my here we go, I have my iPhone. I'm gonna try the same thing. See if I can open a security code from my business account. I'm gonna to go to settings. No, nope, nothing there, okay. So let's go to manage my Google account. Scroll over to security, signing into Google, and we have no security code. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. It's asked me for the same thing. <laughs> okay, but thankfully on my phone, it's allowing me to get a text message sent to me. So that um, that should at least let me get in on my uh, on my phone. There we go. So I don't need a Google account pin. I need a bloody security password. This is highly frustrating. So now it says I've got ah uh, aha. Let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure security key is for physical hardware. Yes, it is. I will use my phone's built-in key. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, so Google prompt devices, maybe I can, um, maybe I can change my, maybe I can change my Google prompt. Maybe I can change my Google prompt devices. So I'm going into my two-step verification settings here. Of course, it's gonna ask me to re-prompt again. Okay, so Google prompts, Google prompt devices. Would be nice if this was a bit tidier, wouldn't it? Okay, phones, Chrome devices, iPads. So it thinks my thinks my iPad is in the Philippines, uh, which it's not. <laughs> uh, right, Peter's iPad two. Would be nice if it told me what model it is because I've got got multiple I've got multiple iPads that I own. Blah 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 blah. blah. That's third party apps. I don't know guys, this is, uh, this is a bit hard to say. I might have to try and find my other iPad. Let's see if that one works. Okay, so here I have iPad number two and iPad number three. It's 
really hard to know what is what at this point. Okay, let me attempt to open up my Google and see if I can uh, sign out. Okay, signed out on that bad boy. And let's check on this one. Let's see if we can do this magic sign in. Okay, so here I here I go. I'm in my in my iPad. Okay, let's go to settings, privacy and security. No, nothing there. Okay, so we'll try again. Manage your Google account. We'll go to security. No, no option to sign in. Apparently, we have an option to fix this. So apparently, somewhere in the admin panel there is an option to generate or to pause to pause the prompt on a per user basis for 10 minutes so let's see if we can go and find it i saw this in the up-to-date google updates which i did in my last stream and we actually covered how you can how you can actually pause this additional security prompt for a certain period of time. Let's see if I can find it in here. Okay, advanced protection. Here we go. Turn off identity questions for 10 minutes after a suspicious attempt to sign in. Let's see if that works. Identify identity verification off for 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go back to my YouTube. Let's try and remove these users again, saying proceed, verify it's me. I think it might've worked. Ta-da, yay. So we found the bug. So what happened was there's some kind of weird thing going on with YouTube's permissions and it is prompting me for a security code that is not actually set up in my account. Now this is available for Android devices using the actual phone as a security key, but it's obviously not configured in any of my uh, iOS based devices. And so it didn't work on my phone, didn't work on my iPad. And so Google was asking me for a prompt that I could not use. But thankfully in the admin panel, we now have the ability to pause that for 10 minutes and we made use of that new feature. Thank you, Google. Well, I don't know if I wanna say thank you, Google, but I'm glad we worked it out, Google. Thank you for putting that on your blog and telling us that there's updates there. And if you are watching this video and you're not yet watching our regular live streams on updates to Google Workspace, well, it might be a good idea for you to do so. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything Workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.